Yo, bro, I think I'm on to something here, man. I'll give you a quick overview here. My setup, we've got a single wound inductor on the inside, that black core. Underneath that uh, secondary winding. That's my primary, of course. Got uh, just a simple diode resistor snubber across the primary right now. Uh, I've got the matrix switcher configured in such a way to where, as you'll see, the pulse off time is when the positive polarity pulse is created right there. You can see our duty cycle right here of that yellow pulse. We're only pulsing at 15% duty cycle, 1.63 kilohertz. Now, this is the interesting thing. I'm going to pump this baby up here. Twenty volts. Twenty two volts here. Look at that positive polarity pulse. That's awesome. Still, we're getting production. We're we're starting to achieve production because the voltage is above our hundred mark. We're at 114 volts across the cell. But we are consuming less than one amp. This is 24 volts in, one amp. And that is the pulse that we're getting. This is Stan's Revenge. You can see my cells starting to take off here. But how impressive is that? For that little amount of amperage, less than one amp, that's that's 24 watts of power, not even 24 watts of power, being consumed, being consumed in my circuit. Normally, here, let me do this again here. You know, we're, we're only doing 80 milliamps across that cell, so there's only 80 milliamps going into my cell here. Normally... I would have massive amounts of power consumption in my cell. 5 amps, 9 amps, consuming in that cell to achieve almost that voltage level. About 115 volts, 120 volts or so. But, here again, we're only pulsing at 15% duty cycle. We're actually using the pulse off time to make that, folded, that field uh, collapse on there. <laughs> collapse that field and then that flyback bang pops that pulse right there and it does it without the energy being consumed in the circuit so here again we're only consuming one amp we're getting the waveform we want we have milliamps across the cell or into the cell rather and we've got 113 volts across the cell producing gas that is a new record for me as far as gas production voltage level minimum amperage and minimum amp consumption this is wow uh, I'm gonna keep chugging right along at this to see how far I can push it for reference here, uh, that's an IRFP460 MOSFET. This is a 10 ohm 100 watt resistor. It's a standard uh, diode of sorts. Um, then my high voltage diode coming from the secondary, the current respective. Wow. I'm I'm really blown away guys. I think we're I think we're onto something here. This is Stan's Revenge.